welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to win a virtual million pounds by simply answering 15 questions in a row correctly. So if you're ready, let's play. Hello and welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? That's great. It is. Okay, so it's just you, me and the computer. Okay, first bit, if you'd be so kind, please enter your name. Thank you very much. If you don't need instructions, let's play. Wow, I need help. I don't know about instructions. <laughs> I need more lifelines, Chris. Good luck. Now, I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth £100. According to the Bible, how many animals? Oh, sorry. How did the animals go into the ark? Two by two. It's good. You loved backwards. Pounds. <laughs> what was that? I would have loved backwards. I don't know what that last. I just went blank. Here's question two. It's worth two hundred pounds. The which biblical character famously walked on water? Ah, oh, that would be uh, Mr. Jesus. It's Christ. correct. You've got two hundred quid. You're doing well. You're just 13 questions away from a million. Look at this for 300 pounds. Which objects do you associate with grandfathers and cuckoos? That so would be saying cocks. B. You've got 300 pounds. Right, you're 12 questions away from a million. Now this one is worth 500 pounds. Take your time. Have a look at it. Uh, Mortello and Marad... I can never say those names, but they are cherries. So you're saying B. That's the right answer for £500. Don't forget, you've still got all three lifelines. Use them if you need to, that's what they're there for. Okay, have a look. Uh, you're just one question away from your first milestone. It's for a guaranteed £1,000. Here it comes. What colour is the kernel of a pistachio nut? So you're it's saying green. it's A. Are you confident? You seem pretty sure. You're right to be sure. You just won a thousand pounds. So, congratulations, you're now guaranteed a thousand pounds no matter what happens. Okay, going on. Question six is for two thousand pounds. Just keep giving me uh, food questions, Chris. I'm good at the one. It's food questions. The Melbourne Cup is a highlighting of the racing season, I would assume, in Australia. So, you think the right answer is C. Are you sure? Congratulations, it's the right answer. You've got £2,000. You're doing brilliantly. You've got £2,000, but take a look at this next question for £4,000. Character Hawkeye appears in which US sitcom? Isn't that MASH? You're going for D. You had £2,000. You just doubled it to £4,000. Okay, going on. Question eight coming up for £8,000. Take your time on this. You don't have to play. Here it comes. Which vegetable is used to make sauerkraut? Cabbage. Yes. Keep so giving me food beef. questions. Congratulations. I am it's ruled the right by my answer. stomach. You just won £8,000.
You'll win £16,000 if you give me the correct answer to the next question. It's number 9 of 15. Take a look at it. Here it comes. Which Northamptonshire park features in the title of Jane Austen Knoll? Matlock? So you think it's A? I'm really sorry, that's the ah. wrong answer. You've just lost £7,000. Ah, Mansfield. It's D. Well, All right, well, we'll carry on. That's fine. Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from £1 million. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for £100. In September 1992, Channel 4 Daily was replaced with The Big Breakfast. Well done, nice and easy, you've got £100. Have a look at this, it's worth £200. What type of creature is a pintail? I don't know. Fish? I'm very sorry, it's an early exit uh, for you. It's the wrong answer. The oh. answer is A. Twas a duck. It's going to be one of these episodes, is it? <laughs> okay. Good luck. Now, I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth £100. In the saying, what do you get before the horse? Oh, the car. It's good, you've got 100 pounds. Here's question two, it's worth 200 pounds. Which word means to show shyness by becoming red in the, fla fi in the fleece? In it's the good fleece. for 200 pounds. <laughs> Right, so far so good. Take a look at this for 300 quid. Which of these creatures resembles an alligator? Well, a crocodile. You've got 300 pounds. Now, you've got 300 quid, but you could still go away with nothing. I'm sure you won't, and I hope you don't. But have a look at this next one. It's worth 500 pounds. What kind of food is muscovado? It's sugar. You're going for D. That's the right answer for £500. Don't forget, you've still got all three lifelines. Use them if you need to. That's what they're there for. Right, just be careful. This is the last point at which you could go away with absolutely nothing. You are now 11 questions away from £1 million. This is worth £1,000. Here it comes. Which of these is a small cre small creature cake, small current cake? Chelsea Burn. Okay, you're going for C. Are you happy? Ooh, it's an idea for a minute. You video. seem pretty sure. You're right to be sure. You've just won a thousand pounds. That's a thousand pounds in the bag guaranteed, but let's try and double that with the next question. You might as well play this. You've got nothing to lose. You're guaranteed one thousand. This one is for two thousand pounds. Which of these is the name of a fielding position in a cricket? I don't know. Extra charge? So you're saying B. 
You had a thousand pounds guaranteed. You still got a thousand pounds. It's the wrong answer. The answer is A. Uh, extra cover. Congratulations, you've got yourself one. Oh, go on, we'll go one more time. Thanks a million. Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from one million pounds. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for 100 pounds. Which, oh, okay. Of course it is. You've got 100 quid. Take a look at this for 200 pounds. Which area on the east coast of England is a favourite for holiday destinations, not for broads? It's right, you've got £200. You're doing well, you're just 13 questions away from a million. Look at this, for £300. Wait. Oh. 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 Didn't mean to yawn in the middle of trying to say that question, a holiday. <laughs> so you think it's A? You're absolutely right for three hundred pounds. Right, question four of fifteen coming up. You're doing fine. Take your time. Have a look at this for five hundred pounds. What kind of food is a gherkin? It's cucumber. So you're saying B? Correct. You've got five hundred quid. Well done. You've still got all three lifelines left. 50-50, phone a friend, and ask the audience. Now, the next question guarantees you a thousand pounds if you give me a correct answer. Have a look at this. Which of these words describes a person who is a dab hand? He is an expert. Okay, you're going for C. Are you happy? Well done, you just guaranteed yourself a thousand pounds. Well done, you've got a thousand pounds. Now that's guaranteed. Whatever happens now, you'll walk away with at least one thousand pounds. But have a look at this next question. You might as well play it. It's worth two thousand pounds. Dry ice is a solid form of carbon dioxide. So you think the right answer is C. Are you sure? You've just won £2,000. OK, now it's getting rather serious. The money starts to go up and up at this point rather fast. You've got £2,000. You're nine questions away from £1 million. And this question is worth £4,000. In which country did saunas originate? Oh, I don't know. Finland? So you think it's A? Congratulations, you've just won £4,000. Right, you're doing well. You're doing brilliantly. You've got £4,000 at this moment. The next question is worth £8,000. Here it comes. Which animal is represented by the constellation? Constellation. A hey, sound it out. Ursula Major. Oh, no, no, actually. 
You want to use your phone a friend lifeline? Okay. Let's get them on the line now, but you don't have to take the answer they give. Hello? Hello, Jane. It's Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hello, Chris Tarrant. Well, we're stuck on a question for £8,000, and your friend needs you to help them out, so no pressure. Fine. Okay, here comes okay, the question with four possible answers, aggressive. but Jane, we need to know which one is the right answer. Well, I know Ursa Major is the plough, so I'll make an educated guess, <laughs> of course, and say that bulls used to pull ploughs, so the answer is the great bull. I do hope that's right. Jane, thank you very much. I'm not confident. Okay, well, Jane says A. Well, go with it. Are you absolutely sure? No, not at all. You had £4,000. You haven't got £4,000 anymore. I'm sorry, it's the wrong answer. It's D. Congratulations, wow. you got yourself £1,000, a lot better than some other people have done. Um, it's a shame you can't go further, but please, please feel free, try again. I'm sure you can win a lot more next time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Right, there we go then. So, uh, I'm going to leave it there for now, and I will say thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!